Sale, 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 Hello and welcome to the Multi-Choice Deski Challenge, the 2015-2016 Netherlands edition, where we will be taking you through an amazing journey of what Lamontville Gold and Arrows got up to during their tour of the Netherlands after winning the season's Multi-Choice Deski Challenge. We are coming to you from a very cold Zwelle in Holland. Without further ado, let's take a look at what's coming up on the show today. Coming up, the players receive a warm welcome from the South African Embassy, we take a look at the match that took place between Golden Aris and Peg Zwaller, and the team enjoys an informative training session with coach Johan Nieskens. After a 10 hour flight, the team finally landed in the friendly city of Amsterdam. Amsterdam is known for its relaxed atmosphere with a small scale of buildings, intimate streets and canals. Everyone headed to the South African Embassy where lunch was being prepared to welcome South Africans to the Netherlands. Multi-choice director of enterprises and regulatory Graeme Abrams took us through the meal that was being prepared for the guests. Food has been prepared by the ambassador's wife, Mrs. Kolwani, who is just to my left there. This is for South African visitors, not only Golden Arrow, but also South Africans based here in The Hague. Uh, the meals have been prepared not by outside caterers, but by staff of the South African Embassy, which is fantastic and unusual. So around me you would see ladies cooking, ladies baking, opening ovens, etc. All to entertain close to 200 South Africans this afternoon. His Excellency Bruce Golani took the opportunity to welcome the guests and commended multi-choice Disney Challenge as a great initiative for South African football. First of all, I would like to again reiterate our warm welcome to all of you in your own home because the residence uh, is the property of the state and there is no state which runs without taxes. So the taxes you pay keep us here. So this is definitely your home. We thought this would be a great opportunity for all of us to meet today for two primary reasons. One reason being uh, we have got one of our young team, soccer teams from South Africa, which won in the division which is sponsored by MultiChoice, called MultiChoice Disc Challenge. And as part of an incentive, they will sell, they'll normally pay for the team to go and apply their skills abroad just to test their cognitive levels as well. And the team that won this year is a Golden Arrows football club from Wazoo Natal. I think it's just fantastic being right um, in South Africa, outside of South Africa. We are the residents of our am ambassador to the Netherlands. He's invited us fantastically well today. Ambassador Kolwani um, has prepared himself a South African meal for the Golden Arrow boys, who's here to play a couple of matches in the MDC. Really home from home, the weather might be against us, but a fantastic welcome and certainly an eye-opener for the young boys to see how South Africa operates as a country beyond our borders. The team was grateful for the hospitality that was given to them by the embassy. The lunch was indeed a fantastic welcome to Holland. Um, we're looking forward to gaining experience from the team that we're going to be playing against and um, what they've got to offer and also challenge ourselves against them to see how, how far behind or how far you know, we are in our careers compared to them. So the experience that we're going to learn from the games ahead are going to be vital in our careers and it can only help us improve as players. The conditions obviously when you, when you, when you come from other countries, to, for, for, when you come from South Africa to Europe, and look, you, you see the cold weather and stuff, you, you obviously, it's important to adapt as soon as possible so that you can, can keep going with um, the games and stuff. So it's, 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 it's very important to adapt and obviously get used to the weather so you know what's in store for, for, for the week and for the games to come. Due to the generosity of multi-choice, uh, the team is here today. And we also want to thank multi-choice for supporting the, the, the cause of football in South Africa because you nurture talent and prepare everybody else to, 
potentially play in the first uh, teams in the first division in South Africa. The only thing I advise them is that they must uh, first of all recognize that they are also ambassadors of South Africa when they're here. So their behavior both on and off the field will uh, impact or reflect on South Africa in general and uh, therefore expect them to behave well. But furthermore, um, they must not be intimidated by the technical uh, soundness of the players that they're playing with. They must just go there, play like they've played, that's brought them here in terms of them winning the, the, the multi-justice challenge. So, yeah, I think they'll do well. Golden Arrow's first match against Peg Zolo was highly technical. The team had two clear-cut chances in the first half and couldn't capitalize any of them. The final results of the match went as follows. Peg Zwallow were victorious against Golden Arrows, winning by three goals to one. A match analysis was organized by Peg Zwallow's assistant coach, Gert Pieter de Gunst, to help the team understand the technicalities of playing against Dutch teams and how it's going to benefit them in their next matches. Um, welcome uh, to Zwallow. Uh, my name is Peter, you can call me like that. I'm the uh, assistant coach of the first team here. And uh, it's a little bit the same as we did last year. There was another uh, team who won the, how do you call that? The MTC. Okay, so congratulations to you guys, because you did a great job in your own country. Won that, and then you can come. To Holland, yeah? I think uh, I showed them the way uh, we are trying to, to, to play and, 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 and uh, uh, in the Dutch league, yeah? uh, the, the typical uh, way of Pax Wall. So I, I told them a little bit about that and, uh, and after that I tried to show them in the match of yesterday uh, what the moments are when you, you can see that, the way we play and what they are doing uh, uh, against us, so in defense and in offense. I think they are, they are very humble. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and, and maybe, maybe a little bit too much because they showed us yesterday that they, that they really can play good football. But in, in some situations, yeah, they can improve a lot. And I hope uh, I've showed in, in, in some moments that, uh, that they will and, and they are doing uh, uh, a lot of to improve there. What I think is good, it's, it's how we play and uh, what you did yesterday. So I'm not going to tell you what you have to do. Eh? You have to listen to your own coach. I'm going to tell you more about the way we play in Holland and where we get our chances against guys like you. It was a good session for us, uh, considering that we were playing against the opponents that we've never seen before. So obviously one was just wishing for, for better results, but it, wasn't, it was not about the results. 
Uh, we are here to learn. We are here to, to, to better our game. And uh, I'm sure it was a good uh, lesson for us. Obviously, in today's session, that's where we, we get to see the details as to how, how we performed last uh, yesterday. Uh, in, uh, in some areas, we, we did very well as a team. Uh, maybe defensive and there are areas where we did well as well in attack but above everything else uh, at least we, we saw our mistakes and we need to rectify our mistake going forward to the last two games we're gonna try to defend as a team a little bit more uh, try to take our chances and try to slow down the game if you get a chance to take the lead or equalize or or in relating we saw where we made our mistakes and the things that we did that didn't go right. Yeah, I think it was a good learning curve and we think and I think we're gonna improve a lot because of what we saw today and what they told us and by seeing our mistakes I think we're gonna improve. What a perspective session. The boys are well informed and ready for their next matches. Please don't go anywhere. When we return from the break, there's more Holland action coming up on your World of Champions. Four, three. Welcome to Holland. My name is Ricardo. Welcome to Holland. My name is Ricardo. A co fan course. A co fan slab and kit. A co fan slab. And course, take us to the club. <laughs> My name is Jabolo. I go for life as on Holland. I'm a pass player and I'm a good guy, a good banter, Toxin. My name is uh, Jabolo. I go for good in Holland. I go for best player in Holland and I'm a good guy, bad guy, I'm a good guy, Toxin. Good morning, Nia. Oh, how are you? Ay, 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 ay. Hello, bro. Good morning. How are you? It's good. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So how do you like Holland? I like Holland. Oh, that's good. That's good. Ay, 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 ay. 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 Welcome back to the Multi-Choice Disky Challenge Show, our Holland special. If you've just joined us, here's a recap of what happened in the first half. The team was received with a warm welcome by the South African Embassy and we attended an informative match analysis by Coach Gert of Peg Zwolle's first team. Golden Arrows had the opportunity of having a training session with the Dutch football manager Johan Nieskens, who was assistant coach for the Dutch national team during the finals of the 1998 FIFA World Cup and has also coached teams such as FC Barcelona and Mamelodi Sundowns. Let's see how the training session went. It was uh, an honor for me to be here today. First of all, uh, okay, you have to watch out what kind of training you do because the boys have uh, played already on Sunday, then they have played yesterday. So today it was a very light uh, practice because tomorrow they have another game. But I think uh, the, the boys did very well and I was myself enjoying it a lot. So hopefully um, tomorrow they are doing well. That look good because they are at, at the end of uh, the season. Uh, they are here now uh, more than four or five days and, and playing already two games. So, uh, no, the level was good and I was surprised. Uh, also, the exercise that we did, uh, they understood it very well and they performed very well in it. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to what they're doing tomorrow. Maybe you see the other two games in, in Holland, all the, the teams where they play now uh, against, they are playing in the system 4-3-3. So I think maybe the team is not so used to that uh, there are two wingers eh? uh, because maybe in South Africa a lot of teams are not playing with two wingers, maybe with two strikers. Uh, so they have to adapt a little bit. For that reason I practice also today with, uh, with the four defenders and the two central midfield players against the team with, uh, with three strikers. But I must say uh, they uh, understood uh, very well, they did well and hopefully tomorrow uh, they're doing well. The ball is going, but like this. 
So you're standing on your heels. And when you're standing on your heels, you're not quick enough. It's important uh, we are not here for a visit or a trip. We have to win. Uh, we have to instill the confidence of winning mentality to our boys, considering the fact that we want to go back and promote them into the senior team. We'll have to win tomorrow. Top session, uh, in fact, he addressed one of our concerns where the boys did not adapt well in the first match, dealing with white players, uh, how they shift when the ball is switched. But the way he did it, uh, how soon they adapted to it was impressive. Top, top class session. After the successful training session, the team enjoyed a tour of the state-of-the-art KNVB campus. The KNVB is also known as the Royal Dutch Football Association. It is the governing body of football in the Netherlands. The center was opened about 50 years ago in Zeist, which is situated at the central part of Netherlands. The entrance of the center comprises of statues of renowned players such as the deceased Johan Cruyff. The players were excited to see the statue of Johan Nieskens. The KNVB campus is currently under construction. The developments include a part garage and sports medical center. It's a place where players and coaches can train and relax. Coach, yeah. this is for you on oh. behalf of the team and all the support staff. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. For an excellent, excellent training session. Thank you very much. <laughs> The session with Johan Nieskens equipped Golden Arrows with the right tools for their next matches. Let's look at their match between FC Twente. Results of the game are as follows. FC20 beat Golden Arrows with two goals to one. Let's delve into the last match that Golden Arrows had against FC Den Bosch. The match started at a very high tempo with both teams keeping possession efficiently.
game are as follows. Golden Arrows demolished FC Den Bosch with three goals to one. The team said goodbye to Zwolle and hello to Amsterdam again, where they enjoyed a tour of the Amsterdam Arena. They had to adhere to certain rules such as taking off their hats before they could go inside the facilities. The Amsterdam Arena is the home of the football club Ajax. The Dutch national team also used the stadium for international matches. On a regular basis, the event's calendar includes concert and dance festivals. The Amsterdam Arena is one of the most sustainable stadiums in the world and is regarded internationally as a role model for modern stadium construction. The team was fascinated by the press room where they had a chance to take place behind the microphone of Frank de Boer. They also viewed the Meet the Team photo wall. Due to renovation works of the arena, there are some areas that cannot be accessed, such as the IX dressing room area. An artificial dressing room was built where you can take a selfie seated on your favorite player's chair. The arena tour was a dream come true to the players as they had the opportunity to sit on their favorite player's chair, Tulane Serrero. Once the arena tour was over, the team headed to Canal Cruise Port to go on an exciting canal tour of the city. The city of Amsterdam is intimately connected with water. It has 165 canals which were created over the centuries. The canal tour was an awesome way to discover the city and its famous attractions, making it the highlight of the trip. It's been an amazing one, a very um, learning experience more so on the soccer side of stuff where we got to learn a lot about how the, the how soccer and, and football as a whole is played here and the systems and type of stuff that the, the Dutch use and it's just been amazing 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 also learning the culture of, of, of the place and it's really been amazing. It is a wonderful experience especially for our young players and our young coach who have done tremendously well. I was very impressed with the way they, they show character. Even though we lost two games, but obviously we lost to the teams who are of high quality. We learned a lot and they taught us something which we believe they'll be able to take them back to the PSL. That brings us to the end of an exciting season. Thank you so much for joining us. You can have your say on our various social media pages by using the hashtag Asidali. Stay tuned to your World of Champions to see who walks away with the title next season. From myself, Lindy Adube and the team, goodbye. Four, three. I'm Delphin. I'm a left defender of Pek Swola and uh, keep supporting the Disky. Uh, I'm left defender of Pek Swola. Keep supporting the multi-choice Disky Challenge. Hi, my name is uh, Mustafa Yahaya from Ghana and uh, I want you to keep supporting multi-choice uh, Disky Challenge. Hi, I'm Yurun. Keep supporting the... I forgot. Multi-choice Disky. Hi, I'm Yurun. I'm a midfielder from uh, Pek Swola. Keep uh, supporting the multi-choice Disky Challenge. My name is Albert van der Haar. Hashtag Asidali. Salbona, I'm Pelle Boefink from FC Twente. Asidali. Asidali. Okay. One more time? Yeah. Salbona, I'm Pelle Boefink from FC Twente. Asidali. Hello, my name is Michel Janssen. I'm the coach of the second team of FC Twente. Asidali. Salbona, uh, my name is Jort van der Zande. I'm a striker and hashtag Asidlida. <laughs> no. Wait. Asid Sabona. My name is Jort van der Zande. I'm a striker. Asid Lali. Hashtag Asid Lali. Sabona. My name is Jort van der Zande. I'm a striker from FC Den Bosch. Hashtag Asid Lali.